with over 1,200 plus entertainment industry guests and almost 6 million viewers, it's the Actors E Chat Show. Chat. My name is Deanna Jones and I am coming to you from the beautiful city of Orlando, Florida at the Renat Talon Photography Studio. I have with me an amazing guest today. She is a photographer. She's an Israeli teen actress that moves here to the U.S. She does wedding portraits, event photography, headshots. She does it all. Please welcome Renat Talon. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. It's so good of you to take the time to come talk with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. So you're from Israel originally. When did you move to the States? Uh, first, well, originally I was three years old when we moved here. And then my father stayed um, and my mom stayed in Tel Aviv. So oh. I ended up spending my whole life back and forth, basically. Wow. Between uh, Tel Aviv and Ohio. Uh, you were telling me you're, you, you speak both. Yes. Hebrew and English. Uh -huh. Fluently. When did you start acting then? Wow, I've always... I always knew I wanted to be an actress, always. It was like, I remember with my mom, we would do, I would make my mom do all these um, fairy tales, like act them out with me. <laughs> so she was everything and I was always the princess. Oh. <laughs> she was everybody else, you know, the frog, <laughs> everything. Um, so I always knew I wanted to be an actress and I took drama classes and, um, and voice lessons. And, that, that was my passion. I always knew that's what I wanted to do. So so what was your first gig then? Well, that was um, actually, it, uh, it, it was uh, really interesting because I was part of, um, I was looking for something. I was looking for something to do. And the city of Tel Aviv had like a young group of um, entertainers mm -hmm. that um, teenage, teenagers basically. That they um, that they had them perform different live events and so forth, right. and I just really wanted that was like the height of my ambition. You know, I really <laughs> wanted to become part of that group, and I auditioned and I was accepted. And when when I came to the first rehearsal, uh, we were all notified, and there was like I think fifteen or sixteen of us we were all notified that um, we're getting a TV show. And that was the crazy, yes. It was like the biggest oh. shock. So now back in the day, this is, there was only one channel. I mean, we had 100% right. rating, basically. Wow. That, there was, yeah, so there was only one channel. We were the first original teenage Israeli TV show. That is so cool. And it was kind of a combination between Saved by the Bell and Glee, I guess, would be. Wow, so do you sing and yeah. all that? Uh -huh. Dance? Yeah. And, wow. So we did the whole thing, but it was, incredible it was we didn't know like today when somebody gets a tv show you you know what how to prepare to it you know what's going to happen there it was just like we had no idea we just we went to school in the morning then in the afternoon we went to rehearsal then we shot an episode you know um for a few days right um, how long did the show run uh the show ran for a few years i was on for two years so Two, I guess it would be two seasons, two years. So, so it was just crazy. And the first year, we actually brought our clothes from home. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did. I know it was. And then um, no one prepared us for the fame. I mean, after the first season, it, it was just you had people following us, waiting. I would. I lived in a. Well, my mom has an apartment in a condominium in Tel Aviv, so I would go downstairs, and kids were waiting for me, screaming. It was. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. <laughs> it was shocking, and um, we we were not prepared to deal with. It. So, were your parents really involved? Well, I yeah, I would get fan mail. So this is before email. God, I feel like this dummy. <laughs> so, it's okay. Email was only invented barely a long ago. It's fine. <laughs> so I would get um, fan mail in the mail, and I really didn't know what to do. So I would throw it out, and my mom would take it out of the trash, open it, and answer for me. Oh, and send it to them. that's so good. So, yeah. Oh. I did that TV show for two years, and then I had to leave because in Israel it's mandatory to join the military. 
it's mandatory. For so, everyone? Yeah, for everyone. Wow. So for girls, uh, it's two years. So I auditioned for this um, military group. I can't remember what you call it here in the States, but Bob Hope had one. It was like um, entertainment unit. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. yeah, so I auditioned to that, and it was a really, it was a big deal. Um, so there was 600 of us that came in the morning to audition. 600 were accepted to audition, and at the end of the day, six of us make it. Wow. So that's what I did in my military service. Wow. Uh, we did live performances. Did you have to go through the whole training and the whole I did the basic, yeah. Basic yeah, and yeah. all that? Wow. We did basic training, and yeah, we have to, I mean. Yeah. Because we traveled everywhere in Israel, um, you know, including occupied territory. Wherever there were Israeli soldiers, we went to entertain them. So we had to know how to defend ourselves if anything happened, you know, to I our... I mean, I guess technically you would still be a soldier. Absolutely. You were so, you know, so was it kind of like, like in the States, you know, like the Marines, they have the band, where they're, they're literally like, they're not the first in combat, but they're out there, you know. I guess, guess kind yeah. of, yeah. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. So I, that was wow, don't mess with her, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was um, that was really fun. So did you do any entertaining after? I studying? did. Well, I did. I did a bunch of commercials uh, at the beginning for the movie theater. Do you remember when they did um, movie theater commercials? Yes. Wasn't that like yes. you would go into I the do. movie theater and they had commercials before <laughs> the previous? Yes. yes. Before the before previous. The previous. Yeah. So I, I had I had a few commercials. Then, and then for commercials that ran on TV uh, and stuff. And I ended up doing, I was, I did a couple movies, uh, all in Israel. This was all in Israel. Um, and um, did you ever want to pick up acting in the States when you came stateside more? I, you know, when I, when I decided to leave, it was the profession, basically. When the decision to leave the profession, it was just, I was done. It was done. I, I remember I called my agent and told her that I'm, that I'm leaving and that I'm physically leaving and I'm moving to the States to go to college and she cried because it was, <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, we made some good money together. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, what did you go to college for and where did you go? Did so, you go? I went to the Ohio State University. Okay. That's where my father lives. Okay. Yeah. Ohio. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and uh, I ended up getting... I never, I didn't know I wanted to study photography. That wasn't my mm. intent. Mm. I had no idea. <laughs> no, that was not my intent. So how, I, did, you, how did you get involved well, in photography? Well, they had, um, it's, OSU has 60,000 students or so. So my first quarter, my first yeah, semester quarter, none of the classes I thought I wanted to take were available to take. So um, I needed to get to take electives, and one of the electives was uh, photography. And I was like, well, no, my mom likes to photograph. I guess I'll just, whatever, I'll take it. Seriously, that's how it happened. I had no interest. <laughs> and um, for the class, this was film. So for the class, we had to um, purchase a, a real camera, you know, not a point and shoot, one where you actually can control everything right and it was as soon as they handed me the camera it was the Canon EA 100 I think as soon as they handed me the camera I just I that was it it was almost like you had someone a baby or like an or, aha moment oh totally I had to know <laughs> everything there is to know about what I can do with this thing oh so so how did you start like obviously you had your classes you know but did they start you in you know landscape first you know like <laughs> or did they start you with people I'm laughing because I teach photography today, and there is always the technical part of photography that when I start talking about it, I call it the deer in the headlight look class. Because right. everyone's like, huh? But that's how I was. Right. Because, and that's what they started us with. That's my answer. Because I walked into class, um, and it was on the first, like, I think it was the second class in photography. I walked in, and, um, my professor, or Dean Nelson, she was, I, I walked in late, because I was always late, I couldn't find my classes at oh. that college, it was too, you know, too big. So, I walked in, and our Dean was talking about um, apertures, and I was like, I'm sorry, what now? What? <laughs> what? 2.8, 5.6, 16, 11, 22, what? I was... 
So I didn't know numbers had to do anything with <laughs> right. photography. So for those of our viewers that don't know, apertures are a brief, brief description. Well, basically it's a way to control how much light comes into the camera. It's one of the ways in a camera that you can control how much light comes into the camera is, is basically what it is. And it's, it's openings of, uh, of an aperture, basically. And the more it's open, the more light comes in, the less it's open, less light comes in. So, um, all you photography people that want to be photographers or videographers or work in movies someday, you might want to take notes. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a big deal. I mean, that's the basics it's of huge. photography. So they, they did, and I seriously thought until that moment that photography is composition and clicking. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, yeah. I can see how. I had no idea. I had no idea, but then. <laughs> After I was like, all right, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, um, I realized how incredible it is. So oh, I loved it even awesome. more. So, what are one of the some of the accomplishments that you've done that you're really, really proud of? Either in photography or your past experience. You know, what are some things you're really proud of? Um, that's so funny. You're so going to laugh right now. With everything I've done, I mean, you know, being an actor, first of all, I'm really proud of the fact that. Everything I set out to do, I do. I mean, you know, I was an actress, I was a singer, I, everything that I said I was going to do, I did. So I'm very happy about that. Um, as long as it keeps going like that, right? <laughs> but my proudest moment, and you're going to laugh, was in college when I aced out of math class in college. I didn't need to take the final exam because yes! I aced both midterms. <laughs> no, I get it. Because I <laughs> Math is very important. <laughs> it was my least favorite class. Well, I thought so. it was too, and then I took this class um, in math um, in college, and I, it was actually really interesting. And then they said, well, if you ace your, both your midterms, you don't have to take the final. And you know, it's like a class of like 300 people or whatever, and I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll, do, I'll give you my best shot. Right. I, I had no idea. So I, I aced the first one, and then the second one, I didn't know, but we all came and sat down in the big auditorium, and the professor said, well, one person in the whole in this whole class aced both midterms, and they don't need to take the final. You're not so long. You can get up and leave right now. And I'm like, yes. And I'm like, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was probably great. It was, see, I'm oh, talking about yeah. it with all my accomplishments. Uh, this is the this moment. This is the one. This is the one. Um, so tell me about your photography here in Orlando. So you have your own studio, obviously. Um, do you do you do weddings? You do corporate events? You do parties? Yes. Um, I do. When people ask me what I photograph, that this it's been seventeen years. Anything they pay me really, <laughs> is where it is. Um, but with that said, a couple things. First of all, in college and backing up, um, I am very proud of my college degree because I ended up getting something called a personalized college degree. So it was a personalized degree in photography and visual merchandising because I said that what I wanted to know was how to photograph, but then also how to sit up in front of the camera, right. whatever I'm photographing. That's what I studied. And I ended up doing, I had to write, um, do research and write a thesis. Um, and, and it was about the influence of photography on, um, on buyers purchasing behavior. Um, do you have a master's? I do not. That's why it's a personalized oh, okay. bachelor's. It's something between a bachelor's and a master's. That's, That's really what it is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. How, long, uh, how long did you go to college? Four years. four years. I did it in four years. Oh, that's really cool. I know. I'm telling you. It was, but it was, so that's, I'm very proud of that because I was, uh, for a while there, I wasn't sure what I was going to do and what kind of, you know, um, degree I was going to get, and I just kind of walked from college to college until I found this opportunity, and it was with the dean of one of the colleges. Oh, she was my um, really cool. guide, I guess, of yeah. the. So yeah, so I did research and wrote a thesis and, and did the whole thing. With that said, what I'm doing today is um, my main, my main, I guess, bread and butter today. First of all, is weddings. I've always done weddings. I love weddings. They're weddings are the best. They're so fun. Capturing such an awesome moment. I love, love weddings. Yeah. Uh, and then from weddings, usually what happens is whoever comes to me as wedding clients end up staying mm -hmm. and being, you know, family and uh, I photograph everything that, that they need. So, so that's in the studio. Okay. 
Uh, extra headshots, absolutely, especially considering I was on the other side of the camera. Right, you get and, yeah, what I get we it. need. I know what you need. <laughs> yes. So I do a lot of those, a lot of uh, actors' headshots. I love that too. It's mm. always fun to be able to pull out because I know, I mean, I remember how I got cast for different mm -hmm. shows. You always looked for a certain something. Right. And being able to have an actor sitting here in the studio and being able to pull, pull that certain something out of them right. to show in the photograph. So, so I love that process. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so anything in particular that is in your future that you see? Like any big, you know, events? Do you have any big corporate events? Or? Well, what I do, um, thanks to my college degree, and then I was recruited by Walt Disney Imagineers, and I was, uh, yeah, I was, it was, had my dream job. <laughs> I'll get check. Um, yeah, so I was, um, I did, the, I was a visual communication specialist, and I did their in-house photography here in Orlando. Oh, that's so, so cool. So that was awesome. Yeah, so based on those uh, things and my experience, I, um, I created, about seven years ago, I realized that there was a need in the market for the small businesses mm -hmm. to um, have branded photographs that actually tell their story. Oh, so awesome. I uh, created um, a system for it, and it's the Marketing Mastery System, and basically I take small businesses through the Marketing Mastery System and figure out uh, a photo marketing strategy for them. Wow. So photographs that would actually tell their story. Wow. So you, that that would probably help, you know, websites, their websites, that anything. Website, social pictures. media, they own, it's like their own bank of images, and oh, they cool. own it, and it's unique to them. And oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I bet that's really helpful for weddings and stuff, too, because you have so many vendors. I mean, people don't even realize how much work goes into wedding planning. Um, you know, I'm sure that a lot of the, you know, vendors are all individual companies, you know, I'm sure that they could really benefit from that too, yeah. you know, because you get, you're there because you're getting photos for the bride and groom, but you also get to show off how awesome the decorators and the hair people and the lighting company and the, you know, yeah. all that. Yeah. So that's great. You kind of kill two birds with one stone, so then if you can... Well, it's a whole, <laughs> the marketing mastery system, it's a whole process, and it's, it's I take a company through a process, so it's not just, let me take pretty pictures, it's actually pictures that work. It's pictures that have a job, and they better work, they need to attract the target audience. Right. So, and I'm using what I learned in my thesis, and basically that's figuring so out how to do it, and I create those um, image banks That's for them. so cool. Um, lastly, did you have any tips or things for people that are breaking into either the, the acting business or the photography business or marketing or, you know, there are so many of our viewers are watching, you know, trying to get ideas and inspiration and, you know, so do you have any tips? I do. <laughs> I know I do. I'll, I'll say the first things first. You kept saying, you know, photography business, acting business, go study business. Mm -hmm. Go study business. Whatever you're doing, you're in business. You need to know business. Go study business. That's my biggest tip. I mean, you're going to be doing it for your job. You need to know how business works. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to miss out on half of the... Well, you're not going to be able to close jobs. No. You're not going to know how to negotiate. You're not going to know how to manage your income. You're not going to know how to manage expenses. You're not going to know how to generate business. you got to know how to do that. It, does, it doesn't just happen magically. No. It's not, yeah, that would be nice. marketing classes. Yeah, that too. The marketing classes are big. Very you know, important. Because even as an actor or as a photographer, whatever it is you're doing, you have to learn how to market yourself out there. As an actor, you're the product. So... You know, you have to learn how to present yourself in a way that gets you out there to your target audience, you know, whether it be for an action film or a theater or whatever. And then photography, I mean, you have your photos, which is your product, and you still have to learn how to twist it based on who you're trying to sell it to. Exactly. Well, you got to find your unique, your uniqueness. Why you? Why you? Why should they take you to photograph? Why? should they take you to act this part? You know, why Why you? So you need to figure out what's your uniqueness. And that's really hard for women, I feel like, because we, we try to 
to be like everyone else as women, you know. Well, we always, we try to set us fight. That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that That's in another a episode. Whole other episode. conversation. We'll get to that episode eventually. Uh, but um, and I think my I'm I'm just gonna give three advices. So okay. that's my third one. That's it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do not and don't let people convince you to give up. No. Don't give up. Yeah, that's great because in this business it's so hard. There are so many people that tell you that you can't for whatever reason. I mean, I was told I was too tall. I was never gonna make it. Um, I, you know, so many people in my past have told me why I can't. Yeah. It and happens to be yeah, all the time, so don't don't give up. If anything, use it as a, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to make it happen, because that's the best feeling in the world, mm -hmm. when you can do what you love to do and get paid for it. Right. Um, it's just awesome. So that's really good advice. Hi, I'm Sonia Harley, one of your Actors eChat hosts. Thank you for joining us on Actors eChat. We are now six million viewers strong from all over the world, and we really appreciate you. Actors eChat shoots live Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time from the Pepper J Production Studio right in Hollywood, California. Want to see all of today's episode or any other Actors eChat episode? Please visit ActorsEntertainment.com and put the talent's name in the search box. For instance, like if you're looking for Sonia Harley, for me, put in Sonia Harley, and we'll take you right where you need to go. And go ahead and visit the Actors Entertainment on imdb.com. That's the internet movie database to see the more than 1,300 entertainment industry professionals that have been guests on Actors eChat. And social media is so important, so please follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at Actors Entertain, and join us on Facebook at Actors Entertainment fan page. And don't forget to like us, because those likes they really do help out. Stay tuned for our Actors Reporter animation, which won Best Animation at the Telly Awards. Great job, and Now Media, and Pepper J Productions, and terrific singing by Melissa Suzanne. And now, a special thank you to today's Actors eChat guest. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was such a pleasure having you on here. My Hopefully, pleasure. we'll have you back on. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was my pleasure. I'm uh, glad to have you here uh, in the studio. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, to all of our viewers, thank you so much for watching after Actors eChat. Um, when you're in Orlando or if you're in the Orlando area, come see Renat. She would be happy to do some photos for you. We do have links to her page and her social media on the page below. So please go ahead, take a click, and look at her amazing work. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.